What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and Ray Fisher, the actor who plays Cyborg in Justice League, and will play Cyborg in Zack Snyder's Justice League in 2021 on HBO Max, has just dropped an absolute bomb on director Joss Whedon. For those of you that aren't aware, Joss Whedon was brought in by Warner Brothers to finish Zack Snyder's movie, Justice League. And by finish, I mean force Zack Snyder off the project after a family tragedy and come in and essentially remake the entire movie. It's estimated that only around 20% of what Zack Snyder shot for the movie ended up in the theatrical cut. It's a completely different movie. A lot of people hate Joss Whedon for what he did to the DCEU with that movie. However, what Ray Fisher has just come out and said is much, much worse and could mean something entirely different. So let's take a look. Let's try to figure out exactly where Ray Fisher's coming from and what this could mean for Joss Whedon. You can see on Twitter, Ray Fisher comes out and says this, Joss Whedon's on-set treatment of the cast and crew of Justice League was gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable. He was enabled in many ways by Jeff Johns and John Berg. Accountability is greater than entertainment. Now, that is a very strong statement without very many specifics. Now, in today's age of people getting canceled left and right for everything, I am someone that wants to know more. I am someone that wants to have more details about what exactly it was that was gross, what was abusive, what was unprofessional and unacceptable. I haven't yet heard of those things. I'm waiting to hear those things. But this doesn't necessarily come out of nowhere. Um, earlier, earlier this week, a few days ago, Ray Fisher says this, I'd like to take a moment to forcefully retract every bit of this statement. And the statement is regarding Joss Whedon. Now, this seemed to come like out of nowhere. It was like, why did he tweet this? It, it, he must have known that more was going to come out. Let's listen right here. Yeah, I mean, Joss is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and, and uh, clean up and finish up for him. Joss is a good guy. Zach picked a good person to come and finish up for him. So we got some more time. What's your name in question? Right, you can see the look that him and Jason Momoa kind of give each other after that. Let's listen to that again. I'd like to take a minute to retract everything I said right here. Yeah, I mean, Joss is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and, and uh, clean up and finish up for him. So when he said that, it was very shocking. Now, there is no doubt that much like uh, Mark Hamill when trying to promote The Last Jedi, when he started saying disparaging things, Disney brought the hammer down on Mark Hamill, said he couldn't say anything. I have no doubt that during the promotion of Justice League, the actors involved were not allowed to disparage it. There was, I'm sure there was an anti-disparagement clause in the promotion of this movie. That might be, that may be why he ended up saying that, but you can see there's a look between him and Momoa that says something is not right with what they're talking about. But you can see this has set off a ton of things. This article from Variety. Ray Fisher accuses Joss Whedon of abusive, unprofessional behavior on Justice League set. Um, now, that's, that's the tweet that we are talking about that went viral. Fisher also claimed on Wednesday that former Warner Brothers co-president of production John Berg and former DC Entertainment president and CCO Jeff Johns both enabled Whedon's alleged behavior on Justice League. Bergen Johns also served as producers on Justice League, and the film's poor performance was a factor in both of them exiting their positions. Whedon had no comment, and Warner Brothers did not immediately respond for a comment either. So, Warner Brothers has not responded. Joss Whedon says no comment. That is interesting. So, they were able to get a hold of Joss Whedon for this. Whedon, the director of Marvel Studios' blockbuster superhero movies Avengers and Age of Ultron, took over directing duties for extensive additional photography from Zack Snyder after he left the project due to a death in the family. Obviously, this film received mixed to negative reactions and didn't make any money considering how much money they had to spend on it. And this whole thing has led to the release the Snyder Cut movement. You guys know if, you're, if you've been with this channel a while, I've talked a lot about the Snyder Cut. It's one of my first videos I made on the channel. One of the first streams was about the Snyder Cut. I'm really excited that we're going to get this. And I have been upset at Joss Whedon's version of Justice League, but... Being upset with the director's creative decisions is much different than what we are talking about here. These kind of accusations. Now, I, I'm someone, like I said, I want to see, I want to know more about what's happening. Uh, in the same way that just because a woman may come out and say something and accuse someone on social media without any evidence, I want to know 
what Ray Fisher's talking about. I believe Ray Fisher, uh, I've heard things about Joss Whedon. We'll get into that a little bit later. I've heard things about him that make me feel this might be true, but I want to know. I want you to give details on what is happening. I hope some of those come out in the next couple days, hopefully the next couple hours, to be quite honest with you. But the Jeff John statement is interesting as well. Uh, now, that's not the first time people have talked about Jeff Johns and what he did and his role in Justice League and everything that went down. Jeff Johns screwed over Zack Snyder on Justice League. And this is something that Grace Randolph talked about several months ago. Uh, this is a quote from her. Inexplicably, Jeff Johns is still one of the producers on the movie. He is listed first, even though he's widely disliked at Warner Brothers. In fact, I can tell you, Johns is pretty much the one who is getting responsible for Zach, who is responsible for Zack Snyder getting replaced by Joss Whedon. He did it behind his back. That's all I'll tell you today. It's really bad. So anyway, Jeff Johns is a is so listen before we move on. That's all I'll tell you today. It's really bad. I wonder what else Grace knew that she didn't say in this uh it's interesting so anyway jeff johns is pretty much disliked by everybody i hear jim lee's beloved so he's great but jeff johns was banished from birds of prey and he was the head of the dcu for a hot minute and that is what allowed him to do that to zach snyder but everyone hated him so he got banished to the dc universe streaming system service where maybe he will redeem himself with star girl which i hear is massively delayed because he doesn't know what he's doing but the fact that uh, the fact that Jeff Johns is not liked right now at Warner Brothers is not a secret. I think that Jeff Johns uh, is a great comic book writer and has written some of my absolute favorite comic books in history. However, it's very clear to me that he doesn't know what he's doing in terms of producing and in terms of making a movie. And I think it's becoming abundantly clear to everyone. As far as him covering up for Joss Whedon... What could he be covering up? Now, we know Joss Whedon's history. Uh, now, this was something put out several years ago. This is what I think caused Joss Whedon to delete his Twitter account at one point. Joss Whedon is a hypocrite preaching feminist ideals, ex-wife says. He used his relationship with me as a shield so no one would question his relationship with other women or scrutinize his writing as anything other than feminist. Now, these two had marital issues. Joss Whedon uh, was unfaithful. When we, when we look at this, I don't think that a person um, that a person cheating on their wife necessarily equates to the same time of things that Ray Fisher is talking about here. This is talking about something you know gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable. Now, if he's taking advantage of people in a certain way, uh, maybe that's what Ray Fisher is talking about. But again, there's no details here. Ray, please, please let us know. Spill the tea. You have gone this far. You have put him on blast. I want to know details about this uh, because if it's if it's similar to what he's been accused of in the past, we'll, we'll take a look at some of these things. This is his ex-wife talking. There were times in our relationship when I was uncomfortable with the attention Joss paid to other women. He always had a lot of female friends, but he told me it was better his mother raised him as a feminist, so he just liked women better. He said he admired and respected females, he didn't lust after them. I believed and trusted him. On the set of Buffy, he decided to have his first secret affair. Uh, one thing I will just say is that if there's ever a male feminist out there, you pretty much know what's going to happen. I would say that most male feminists are doing so just to get something from people. At Time and time again, male feminists behave the exact same way. And they are the ones you have to worry about when it comes to any sort of abuse. Now, she goes on to detail a bunch of different things that happen, but none of this, in my opinion, goes to the level of what Ray Fisher is saying here. Josh Whedon's marital issues, uh, I don't think really equates to any of these things other than maybe unprofessional. I agree. That would be unprofessional if that's happening on the set of Justice League. But all of these other things, gross, abusive, maybe gross, but abusive is the one that I'm really sticking on right now. What was abusive about what Joss Whedon did? I want to know more before I before Joss Whedon gets canceled because that's what's happening in front of our very eyes. Now you're having all these people come forward and saying, yes, Joss Whedon looked at me like this. Joss Whedon looked at me like that. But what did he do? I want to know the details. Kudos to Ray Fisher for bringing this to everyone's attention. I'm sure a lot of people who have been complaining about Joss Whedon for a long time are happy now, but I want to know what exactly he did that was abusive. Those are the details that I want to know before I kind of uh, 
make a decision about Joss Whedon. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.